What's it like to be back on set? It's great. Uh, we, since the break from kind of Series 1, seeing everyone again has been really good and getting back into the swing of it has been good. Just really lucky to kind of get a second series and we've been having a good laugh of it and I'm just looking forward to the time up to December. Have you been surprised by the show's success? Yeah, a lot. I mean, when you're making it, you don't kind of understand how big it's going to be. You don't know how big it's going to be. And it has done really well. We've done really well with it. And, I mean, people coming up to me in the street and saying, you've done a really good job. And we're really lucky. Really, really lucky. What is it about Sid, do you think, that people find so appealing? I think it's because he kind of... He kind of gets bullied, but he doesn't. He's kind of like pathetic, and he has so much. He has so much more going for him than he actually realizes. He has good mates. They just kind of like don't see him as well as they should. So, I mean, he's a good character to play. I'm really lucky to get Sid, and I enjoy playing him. And I just, I just think he's like he's like so many teenagers out there. He's kind of like one of the average teenagers you get, and people can kind of like think that is me to an extent. So. I think people just kind of sympathise with him mostly. Do you think we'll see a more confident side of Sid in Series 2? I think so. I mean, after what's happened to Tony at the end of the last series, I think he's going to come out into his own shell and be himself. So I think he's going to kind of take on his own persona and do well with it and just, you know, he's got a Cassie at the end of it, so he's going to, he's going to be more confident, I hope anyway. So and Maybe be able to uh, stand up to Tony a bit more? Hopefully. Hopefully, I mean, whether Tony can stand up in the first place at the end of Series 1, that'll be, that's another question, but if he does, then if he tries to treat Sid like he treated him last series, then he can stand up to him, hopefully, yeah. And obviously at the end of the last series, Cassie and Sid seem to be getting together. Are they going to be an official couple in Series 2? I'm going to have to leave that to Series 2. I mean, I'm not going to lie, things happen between them in Series 2, but I'm not going to say what, I'm going to kind of leave it there. I mean, that's thing is with series two is six months after so things have happened between them so it's just a case of when you get back into the first episode it's getting to grips with what's happened to other characters and stuff so yeah and what about michelle once again i'm gonna have to say leave that to series two things might happen again you know he might have left her he might have not so i haven't read all the episodes yet a new romance may flourish from what's happened before on a more general note, how do you think Skins has developed from Series 1 to Series 2? Um, I think because when you have the first series of something, you kind of need to develop what you've got. You need to show the characters, show what they're like. So with Series 2, we can have more fun. We can show... Well, we had enough fun in the first series, anyway. But you can kind of show more of the characters. You can kind of show what's going on inside. Show more of their lives. Like, show what they're really like. So I think it's developed in a sense where you get to understand the character more and all the characters more and uh, they can kind of progress the storylines to what they've already done. Will we see more of Sid's home life? Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Def well, hopefully, yes. Definitely. <laughs> and what's it been like working with some of the, you know, the big name actors who come onto set? It's been great. It's really, really been good. I mean, if we just... I mean, you've got Nick as well. We started with Nick, who's basically, he's done all the films and everything that everyone knows about. He's been really good. Cause you don't, he isn't, he's just like any other person that you meet in the street. He's the nicest guy. He's got the experience, you know that. And he's, he's just good at his job. And all the big names, like Peter Capaldi and Josie Lyons, my parents, the nicest people. I mean, I have such a laugh on set with them. And then you've got people like um, Harry Enfield, Neil Morrissey, and they're really nice people as well. So there's no one that you kind of walk away from and kind of think, kind of didn't want to work with them. They're just, everyone's just really nice that we've, that we've kind of got in for the last series. So I'm hoping they kind of bring back a few of them. And obviously with the younger cast members, do you, do you all hang out off set? Yeah, yeah. After like, we, if we finish filming early, we'll go out, something to eat in the nights. I mean, some of the guys that don't live in Bristol stay in the Marriott and stuff. So we'll go out, have something to eat, chill out. And we, the thing is, if you're doing a series where everyone's got to be best friends, it's kind of good to be good friends with everyone. So we kind of like try and keep that and try and be good mates and talk to each other. When Between series one and two, everyone talked to each other and everyone was still good mates. So we're all good friends with each other and we'll see each other afterwards. Can you all go out together en masse without being bombarded by the public? To be honest, since we've started filming this series, it hasn't been that bad. 
it's been it's been all right. I mean, you, you do kind of get noticed as a pack when you get more people there. You get noticed more as a pack, but it's it's been okay. I mean, people kind of like people kind of understand to leave you as you should be. Just let have you let you have a good night if they want to come and say hello. Totally appreciate it, but people have been good to us. People have been really good to us, and they come out to us. So the people of Bristol are, are good folks. Yeah, I mean. I don't know if they got like a sense of passion, the fact that Skins was made. They can say that Skins was kind of done in Bristol and formed in Bristol. So the people of Bristol have been really good to us. I've been to like other places like Essex and stuff, they've been just as good. So Bristol definitely has the kind of pride about it that they made Skins, Skins is their own, because I'm Bristolian as well. So 